Hey there, folks. This is the January 2016 Arcade Block Box. Why am I calling it January 2016? Because it's January 2016 and it arrived at my front door. So, let's go ahead and take our knife. Let's open the tape. And let's see what's inside this month's box. So, opening up, and, oh, Christ. Okay, all right, well, let's see here. So, first things first, let's, let's, let's get the obligatory vinyl figures taken care of, because apparently we just can't seem to send these boxes out with these vinyl figures. My comic guy loves you guys for it, though. So, these are vinyl figures based on uh, The Last of Us, uh, Joel and Ellie. And we have blueprints on the back. Apparently, we need to be told that they have articulated heads and overhead, oversized heads. Could have never figured that out looking at the figures, could you? Let's see what our next item is. It seems to be a, a tin box modeled after a classic... Space Invaders cabinet. <clears throat> it has a slot in the top. And hey, look at this down at the bottom. It says pull base to open bank. I was figuring it was a bank, but let's see here. Oh, I see what they mean by pull base. Maybe. Oh, if I Hey, look at that. So I pulled the base. And it came down, and sure enough, inside, a place to put coins. I don't know if I'll actually use this as a uh, as a bank. I, I might use this as a, a little desk tchotchke, now that I actually have a desk upon which I can put tchotchkes. But this is cool. So your, your one and one arcade block. We have... In case you've been living under a rock and you're unaware of, the unaware of the fact that there's a new Street Fighter game coming out, we have a Street Fighter V patch. We have... So, apparently, I'm not going to crack them open right now, but they, they seem to be classic Game Boy-styled arcade block casino cards. So, again, you, you guys are getting with it. There's, like, very little off-the-shelf crap. This is all very cool stuff, which I would probably use. Uh, this... <laughs> Pirate Cats in Space Defend the Earth. Uh, I, I am almost betting, looking at this, that it is some kind of a notepad. Again, something I would probably put on my desk and use, because I have a desk and a need to use things. Uh, this is... G2A, I have no idea what the hell G2A is, but apparently I have $3 worth of something to spend at G2A.com. Uh, probably as soon as I get this video made, I will take a look at it and see what the service is. And that is it for the goodies. Of course, we have the obligatory t-shirt now. And let's see what our obligatory t-shirt is. Uh, Just Cause 3, a game I have never heard of, a game I have never played, but it is it is a t-shirt for Just Cause 3. All right, so, uh, this box, let's just double check. Uh, uh, classic console casino cards. We love video games, but we also have a deep love of all games, and when the two cross over, it can be magic. Speaking of magic, this deck of classic console casino cards, god damn. Damn, four C words in a row. Uh, can certainly be used to perform your favorite card tricks, or you can just use them for Go Fish. And it looks like I'm seeing a lot of Metroid here. I don't know what else they have in there, but may or may not open it up. And yeah, we, we have the, the Just Cause t-shirt, the Street Fighter patch, the casino cards, the tin bank, the notebook, and of course... The vinyl figures, because sweet Mary Christ forbid, Nerd Block put out a block that doesn't have these in there. They are like the herpes of the collectible world. 
So all in all, as I'm packing it up, um, I'll, I'll give the box a C. You know, uh, the the tin bank definitely was the the high item for me. I don't know if it's really. Uh, I don't know if it justifies the, the overall thing that I would have paid for the box, but by the time I give the Just Cause shirt to some deserving fat friend in a 3X, uh, by the time I take the Herpes vinyl minifigures down to uh, my comic guy and see if he will he will dispose of them for me, I'll probably at least break even on it. Uh, again, for me, the, the bank was the very, very cool thing in this box. So, with that having been said, as I fight to get the lid back on this, uh, that was the January Arcade Block. And we will see you all next month in February.